Hi, uh, I'm just uh, demonstrating how it, I'm booting four operating systems. Uh, that is Mac, Windows Vista, XP, and Ubuntu IVX 64X in my PC, which is running in an AMD hard disk, uh, AMD processor with a two hard disks. One is a Samsung 840 GB IDE and uh, uh, Seagate 200, 200 uh, GB SATA. So I have two hard disks. One is Samsung, which is a 40 GB, which is having the Mac operating system, and this uh, 200 GB SATA is having uh, other three operating systems that are the XP, uh, Vista, and the Ubuntu. Um, uh, first of all, we'll boot the Mac operating system, which is in the Samsung hard drive. I'm using the uh, F8 function to get the boot menu in the ASUS motherboard, and it's showing this hard disk. And I'm booting the first Samsung hard drive, which is having the Mac Mac operating system. This is a Darwin bootloader, which is coming into active. I'm having a um, NVIDIA 8600 GT graphics card which is also identified in this installation I am not editing the time so that you can actually experience the time which is starting for uh, the system to get on and off so you have the Mac the system with all the special effects and for those people who know you have the applications here where you have the front row. Front row getting on means that the office card is identified. You can see that the front row is getting on. We'll escape. Now we'll go for the other hard drive which is having the I'm restarting. Sorry. Yes, we're starting. Uh, restarting is get, uh, taking a little bit of uh, time, uh, even after for the operating system Mac to get restart. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I'm using the uh, ASUS. A8N32 slide deluxe motherboard is an Optron AMD processor which is Optron 175 which is a dual core Optron processor on the uh, Sly motherboard which is being supported by the Sly motherboard. Okay, the system is getting restarted. I am putting in the update function so that the boot menu of the BIOS boots and then I am selecting the 200 GB hard disk which is having the other three operating systems XP, Vista and Ubuntu. So I am booting that and you know that I am using ECVCD in Windows Vista so that and with that I am showing the other bootloaders of the other operating system. The earlier version of Windows is XP, Windows Vista and the Ubex 64 bit. We will boot into Ubex Ubuntu first. So the grub has come which is showing the Vista loader also. We will go into Ubuntu. As I said, um, yeah, the graphics card 8600 GT and NVIDIA is again working in my Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the 64-bit version of Ubuntu IBEX 
is being used here. As you know, we have the complex system working properly here with all the cube system and all working and even the shift system, ring system and all which is working properly. That means the compass is working, graphic card is identified. We will restart again. As I said earlier, I um, don't want to edit the time taken because I just want you to experience uh, the time also for the booting process. This is the F8 uh, slime motherboard putting in the fire F8 servers to show the SATA hard drive of 200 GB. Again, we are going into the ECBCD earlier version of Windows uh, and I've given Vista as the uh, default here. We will boot into Vista now. Actually, booting Mac was possible by almost two months of work, and it is easy uh, with a separate hard disk. If you don't have a separate hard disk, I found it very difficult. But because I was able to have a second hard disk, I put Mac separately on that, so the process is much more easier. In the PC, all the four is working. That is the Mac. Ubuntu, Vista and XP. So again you are booting to Vista. Vista is properly running and for example New torrent. All the Vista add special effects, arrow special effects are there. This is not an easy process. I took some time, but you can do it. I'm shutting down the system. 